welcome back to another YouTube video. I just want to start off by saying that I am apologising for the lighting in this room. I literally have tried my best to get the lighting right because in the UK it is currently, um, it gets dark really early now and I've been spending like the past half an hour trying to get some decent lighting in this bedroom and it's proven really difficult even with my ring light because it either causes like lots of shadows um, or it just looks ridiculously bright that I just look really pale and I just gave up in the end and I really want to film this video because as you can see from the title it's a very exciting um, unboxing video and it's my first ever Chanel piece um, that I've ever had um, or owned um, which is now obviously going to be new to my collection um, so I'm super excited to open this. It got delivered today and I've been out shopping today So I'm also going to show you some of the bits that I bought um, But the main thing that I do want to show you is my new um, Chanel purse um, Which I'm really excited to get open. So I'm gonna unbox this with you now If you're new to my YouTube channel, then welcome. I'm so excited to have you here um, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a nice comment down below and I would love for you to subscribe. I've got so many more videos that I'm going to be filming and I've got so many more videos planned for 2023 which I can't wait for and I want to start doing some more planning videos because that seems to be really popular on my channel with my um, Louis Vuitton agenda and I'm hoping to do a Chanel bag unboxing potentially um, which will obviously go alongside this new purse which hopefully will be delivered in a couple of days and I've got some travel videos that I want to do, lots of haul videos and a lot more uh, unboxing videos obviously and yeah I'm just excited to have you come along for the ride and if you enjoy all of that kind of stuff then please subscribe to this channel but anyway without further ado I'm just going to jump straight in and get this unboxed. So this particular item I got from Vestiaire collect Collection, Vestiaire Collection, I know in my last video I was pronouncing it wrong um, but I believe it's Vestiaire and um, I've had a bit of a ride with, um, I say a bit of a ride, a bit of a roller coaster with Vestiaire Collection um, but I'm going to talk about that in another video when I receive my Chanel bag um, and I've just given you a little hint to what I've got um, coming on its way but um, I've, yeah, I've had a little bit of a roller coaster with Vestia, so I kind of want to talk about that in another video because it's going to be a long one. Um, I wouldn't say it's like negative, but I didn't really have a good experience in terms of like sellers and communication and things like that. Um, and I also had a bit of a blip with eBay as well, so that's something that I want to talk about in another video when I receive my bag, um, my new bag, which I'm so excited for, honestly, I've no idea. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just going to unbox this. So I got this from Vestier and I was hunting around for this before I even thought about getting a bag. Um, and my friend Shannon, honestly, I feel like I'm copying her videos, but, and secretly I, I'm not copying her videos, but I'm definitely like copying some of her purchases because she's got some really nice vintage pieces and she also recently purchased herself a Chanel um purse as well which I will leave a link down below to her video so you can check that out but um yeah I was hunting online and came across this and I just thought you know what it's my birthday soon um so I'm going to get myself an early birthday gift and so I did um but yeah so I got this off last year and I paid um, I need to get the receipt, I'll say the receipt, I need to get my phone so I can tell you the exact amount um, which I will do at the end of the video but for now I just want to open it up and show you so I'm going to open it like that and it's obviously come in this like paper envelope I know that this particular item did come with the Chanel box and the dust bag as well oh my god I can't believe what I'm holding in my hand so I'm just going to get rid of that and this is the box so I, I just can't believe it now the only annoying thing is it's been taped um, which is kind of annoying I'm hoping that can come off without like ruining the bag um, or the box should I say because I definitely want to keep that on my display but I'm just going to open it up so we can see 
inside so it's come with the certificate and like the paperwork and the care um, and it's also got the um, inspection ticket which um, if you buy from Vestiaire um, collection or collective should I say then they have authenticity or, or an authentication like workshop type place where this the items get delivered to them first before they they inspect it and then they authenticate it and they stamp it um, and date it and tell you who um, inspected this so Mark inspected this so thank you very much Mark um, but yeah so I've got like the care card and everything like that inside which I'm throwing all over the floor so I'm just going to pop that in there but that's very exciting now the item itself came in this beautiful dust bag which opens up like that so I'm just going to show you I'm not sure if you'll be able to see in this lighting but oh it's gorgeous so I'm going to open it up and I can feel it already and I can't believe it honestly if I tell you how much I got this for I got it for a bargain but I'm trying to like open it and show you at the same time oh my god she looks stunning so this is in the caviar leather now I know that caviar leather isn't actually very popular um, especially when it comes to um, Chanel classic handbags a lot of people go for the lamb skin however I absolutely love the caviar leather because I have felt it before and I know how soft it is and it's also a bit more hard wearing which obviously is perfect for me because I'm going to use this um, but before I talk about any of the details I obviously need to tell you what it is but this is basically the Chanel boy purse I believe that's what you call it I don't know if it's like a purse um, or you would call it like a coin purse but um, I'm going to use it for my cards and you can use it for coins but I'm mainly going to use this for all my cards and my receipts um, obviously I'm using my um, my little card holder but I wanted something obviously a Chanel piece and I saw this for a really good price and just look at that it's literally immaculate condition so the lady that sold this to me her name was Penny and this has come all the way from America in New York um, obviously with Vestiaire Collective um, they pay for the, I say they pay for, but the import duties and the tax gets included in the price so you don't have to worry about a, a payment coming through the door, you know, asking you to pay like the import duties and stuff. That already comes in with the payment which is obviously very good um, but I just can't believe how beautiful it is. So it opens up and I'm really sorry about the lighting but it opens up like so and you've got the Chanel written just there and then obviously inside to pop my cards in but it's literally in immaculate condition and I love it I absolutely love it and I'm so happy with it and the leather it just smells amazing it feels so like buttery and soft but I absolutely love this and it's obviously got like the gold hardware and it's the Chanel boy style which I absolutely love um the Chanel like boy bag in general isn't as popular as the Chanel classic bag but I feel like my style is a definitely it's definitely a bit more edgy a little bit more um casual um obviously I do like to wear quite plain minimalist stuff so like jeans and a t-shirt but I do wear like converse and like big jackets um so I kind of feel like my style is definitely a bit more casual and I feel like the boy is definitely a lot more of a casual casual edgy style um which i love so that's why i kind of went for like the boy um instead of just like the the classic caviar purse um i decided to go for this instead so i'm just going to talk about pricing um and quickly get my phone and show you how much i paid for this baby but I can't believe how stunning she is if you've got any questions then leave um, a link down below because I'm sure I'm missing a lot of stuff but I'm just so happy with this and I can't wait to use it it's also got the card as well which is the Chanel authenticity card um, and obviously you've got the number here um, I believe this was 2016 but I need to have a look because I can't quite remember but I've got the card and the box and everything like I just can't believe how amazing the condition of this is like I'm literally so shocked with the condition of this 
So I'm just going to show you the listing, hopefully my camera zoomed, but I paid £350 um, in British sterling, obviously. Now in US dollars, I'm not quite sure what that is, um, but I paid £350 for this, um, which doesn't include the £15 control and authentication, so £365 for mine Chanel boy purse, which is in immaculate condition, it came with the dust bag, the box, the authenticity card, and I just think that's an absolute bargain, to be honest. Um, I just want to find the year um, of this bag as well, so I can tell you what year this bag was made in. So the date code of this Chanel Boy purse is um, 2019, so it's not very old at all. So. The fact that I paid £350 for this, I think, is an absolute steal. So I am so happy and lucky that I managed to get this. Um, but I also want to give you a little tip as well. If you ever want to check for um, like the date code on Chanel pieces, then I use a website which is basically the Chanel date code checker. I will leave a link down below um, so you can check out. But you basically just type in the date code um, and then it will tell you the um, production date and um, like certain criteria. So it will say here like the eight digit number printed on a white sticker covered with clear tape and two Chanel logos, which basically authenticates it, um, which it does have the um, authentication number in there, just there, if you can see. Um, I say the authentication number, but the serial number inside as well. So yeah, I am so happy with this and I can't believe it's like my first Chanel piece. I'm now very excited for my new Chanel bag to arrive so I can also show you that. Um, but once I've received that and hopefully my new A bag repair will come soon, then I would like to do a handbag collection video of all of my pieces. Um, and yeah, so I'm really happy with that. If you've got any other questions then obviously leave a comment down below, but I can't believe how beautiful she is and I'm very happy. So yeah, that is my new, to me, um, Chanel boy purse. Now I want to show you another little designer piece and this is um, a, not really vintage, uh, vintage, but it, it's more of a sustainable item and a pre-loved um, item that I wanted to get. I basic, basically wanted some new work shoes for obviously work, um, but I wanted like some really nice designer work shoes. So I had a little look on Vinted and I came across these stunning YSL shoes and they were only £30 like they're authentic um, I've checked them over and they've obviously been used which I'm not too bothered about because um, the condition is pretty amazing they're in this like really nice it's not suede it's like almost like velvety but it's not really velvet Um, very hard wearing and I love the fact that these around the heels, um, or say around the ankles, they're just such a pretty detail. And they're obviously plain black, I wanted something plain black that covers the toes. Um, the only thing wrong with these is it does need some new studs, but I can get those on eBay or any um, shoe shop, so I'm gonna go and sort that out tomorrow, but I love these, and the fact that these were only 30 pounds from Vinted is just amazing, so I'm super excited to wear these. And these are my first ever designer pair of shoes. Oh, I say designer pair of shoes, it's not because I've got my Dior's as well, um, but my Dior trainers, sneaker type shoes. But like, as far as heels goes, these are like my first ever designer heels. So really happy about that. Then I did get another pair of shoes and this is from a brand called Deichmann. Um, I believe Deichmann is a German brand, I want to say, I might be wrong, but um, there's a few Deichmann scattered around. I feel really funny when I say Deichmann. Um, but I wanted some work boots as well and I saw these and absolutely fell in love. So as you can see, like all of my items so far have been black. <laughs> so obviously like for work, it's just nice to go with like black because um, I feel like it's a bit more professional. But I really wanted some plain black boots and I love the heel of these. They're not too high and I love this detail here and the pointy bit, it's like not too pointy, but it's just the right amount. And I believe these were only 37, uh, £37.99, pence. Um, so yeah, £38 basically. And I believe there was 20% off um, when I bought these as well, because I got these like a week ago. 
but I absolutely love these and these are going to be perfect for work in my new job with just some tights and some dresses um, or a skirt so yeah really happy with those then I picked up some plain t-shirts from Zara Zara do some really good basics and I did get this new one which is just a plain black one and then I also picked up a white one and this really nice beige coloured one um, which I also love and I got this in a medium it's quite oversized but I feel like this is just going to look really nice tucked into jeans and no, I absolutely and you just you can't go wrong um, with like basic t-shirts so yeah pick those up from Zara and they were on sale as well um, for uh, 9.99 so that's not too bad when like they're really good um, quality anyway so yeah happy with those then I picked up some new makeup pieces. I did mention in my last video that I got and um, bought a new vanity case for Christmas um, from my family. So I really wanted some new makeup and I needed new makeup anyway, to be honest. And I'm not one for like treating myself to nice makeup, but I really wanted this and I've wanted this for a while. So I went into Chanel and picked up um, a new bronzer. I wanted the cream bronzer and the lady in there was really, really nice. She also gave me some samples as well. So really looking forward to trying those. Um, but yeah, so I went in there for some new bronzer and this is like so popular. A lot of people get this. I'm not gonna pronounce it, but it's basically the Creme, Creme Belle Mine Basically, it's a healthy glow bronzing, bron bronzing cr cream. I can't even talk English, let alone like try and talk French. But yeah, so it's basically the um, cream bronzer, which I can't wait to, to use. So yeah, it's this beautiful and it's so big. And I know this is literally going to last me forever. I have had this before, so I know um, how amazing it is. But I did run out of it and just never ended up buying more. But it's one of those like splurge items because it's not cheap. I think this was like £40. Um, but it's just this lovely cream. It looks quite dark um, because they only had the medium in. Um, she said that she sold quite a lot um, today. So um, she only had medium. But I kind of thought it's actually it, it's not as dark um, on your skin. And if I blend it out, it will be okay. So... Um, I'm really excited to give that a go. Then I just went into Superdrugs um, to get myself some random bits of makeup that I needed and wanted. So I got, oh, if I put it on my lap first <laughs> before I show you, but I just picked up some new nail polish remover because I need to take off my red nail varnish if you probably haven't already noticed. But the first thing I got was the e.l.f monochromatic multi stick so this is a it's in the color peach and it looks like this and i really wanted one of these and i've seen it online um and i really love like cream blushes so i thought i would give this a go but it's by elf if i haven't said and it just looks like that and it's this really lovely peach color and basically it's obviously like for blusher um it's also got a little bit of a highlight in it as well which i like so really excited to use that and it's this really cute like compact so this will be like perfect travel size as well then i got myself a face face form blush from sleek makeup i've loved sleek for ages to be fair and i just really love their packaging as well so sleek looks like that so it's just really nice black packaging with sleek written on it and this even though i've obviously bought myself a cream blusher i also picked this one up as well um, just because I absolutely love the colour of it and it's got a mirror as well so it's just this really gorgeous it's got like shimmer in it which I absolutely love and it's in the colour Feeling Like a Snap um, which is quite a funny name but yeah you can see my camera there hello um, so yeah absolutely love that looking forward to giving that a go and I think that was like 4 99 so yeah not too expensive at all i didn't want to obviously i spent like quite a bit of money on the bronzer but i knew i wanted that um so i didn't want to like spend way too much on like lots of different makeup um because i do have sensitive skin so i kind of need to be careful with what i'm using but i picked that up and then i also got a new concealer and this is the studio london flaunt flawless cream concealer i've heard quite a few good things about this so i wanted to give it a go and i also loved the packaging um but i got this in the color beige um 
my skin tone it sort of tends to change because like I haven't got any fake tan on at the moment so I'm looking quite pale but when I do put some fake tan on obviously I'm a bit more um glowing than I am like today where I'm just looking a bit pasty um but yeah so I think that will be a perfect shade to be fair with or without my um fake tanner so looking forward to that then I also got the collections lasting perfection matte foundation and this is SPF 30 I always get um SPF in my foundation just to protect my skin from sun damage but we don't get a lot of sun in the UK anyway but it's always good to have um, and it's up to 16 hour wear um, so that's good I've used this one before and I really like it and collection brand um, you can get this in super drugs um, and boots as well and it's so cheap honestly I think this was like 6 99 um, I used to get the bourgeois foundation um, but they discontinued bourgeois in the UK which is so sad because it was my favorite brand um, but I think I can still get it on that line, I'm not too sure, but I've given this one a go and I've just run out, so I've picked up another one of those. Um, you get quite a lot in there, so, and the colour of that matches my skin really well, so really enjoy that. And then I also just got a clear, mas I didn't realise this was a mascara, I thought this was like an owl eyebrow gel um, but it is a clear mascara, but I am going to use it for my eyebrows because to be fair, it's probably like it's, it's got a really good like is it a spoolie is that what these are called like a little brush on there with the gel and so I just thought that'd be perfect to use for my lashes and my eyebrows I originally went in boots to get the got to be um it's like a smoother so you can use it for like your um, edges of your hair and as well as like any flyaways and um for your brows but they didn't have it in stock everywhere I go um I can never find it in stock so it's obviously quite popular but I'm going to have a look online and see if I can get that. So yeah, that is going to conclude the end of this video because I don't want this video being like a half an hour video. All of my videos tend to be long and I think it's because I talk way too much. So I'm sorry about that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and a nice comment down below. And obviously subscribe to my channel for more videos. I've got so many more videos coming. And I'm going to go. And I hope you guys have a really good weekend. And if you've got any... Um, video recommendations that you want me to film then leave them down below and I will hopefully film them um, it won't be a problem because I want to <laughs> so yeah I hope you guys have a good week and I shall see you in the next video